My name is Jan Lacasse. I'm Associate Director of Admissions at Caltech, the California Institute of Technology. I use she, her pronouns. I was the first in my family to attend college, and I ended up liking it so much that I kept going until I earned a PhD. I come to admissions from teaching at university level, and I've been in admissions at Caltech for about 13 years. I am passionate about helping students gain access to a college education. You're here right now to learn a little bit about what to consider when choosing a school to study STEM in the US. I'll talk a little bit about that and about putting forth a strong application with general advice that you'll be able to use for all of your applications. So you want to study science, technology, engineering, and or math. You'll have many opportunities. And all of these options will have a lot to offer you. Large universities often are, offer the largest variety of majors. You may have to declare a major at the time that you apply, and you would then be admitted to that particular major. It could be hard to change majors after that, just as a warning. It might be a challenge to find lab work as an undergraduate, but there will be different types of opportunities at large research universities, but you do have to be sure you want to commit to that particular major. You might opt to study STEM at a liberal arts college. You'll have more time to decide on a major that way. Liberal arts colleges give you plenty of time to explore. You'll have many, many options for study. It lets you take a variety of classes across the curriculum. You'll have a small school atmosphere. They, the school might not have engineering, but they will have sciences and they will prepare you for graduate schools. They might also have three plus two programs. These are liberal arts colleges partnering with STEM schools so that a student can complete their liberal arts study in three years and then apply for two more at the engineering partner school. And you'd earn a bachelor's degree at both schools, kind of a two for one. Or you might opt, you might opt to study at a specialized STEM school. These are places like Caltech, MIT, Rochester Institute of Technology, Rose Hulman, Harvey Mudd College, there are several. And these allow students to explore several majors within STEM. They will offer opportunities for research. They'll have smaller communities than large universities. You'll really have more of a small college environment. But wherever you decide to go, be sure that you talk to professors. That is a great way to personalize your education. Go to their office hours and learn about the opportunities that are available. So how do you know you wanna to commit to STEM? Well, what are your favorite subjects in school? Have you explored STEM outside of class? Uh, what do you do for fun? You see a whole list of things here. Maybe you do robotics or you're in some kind of a, a STEM club or you read books and articles for fun or you've done independent projects, either research or building stuff. Maybe you think astronomy is the best thing ever or geology rocks. Maybe you just like to build stuff or you've, you've always known that you wanna be a chemist or study medicine. There will be signs. As long as you know that those fields interest you, a specialized college or a large university could be a good bet for you. But don't I have to do research to go to Caltech? or MIT or Harvey Mudd or RIT or Rose Hulman. Not everybody who studies STEM has lab experience prior to applying. In fact, most don't. So how will the school know that you're a serious applicant? You can talk about what you'd like to do. Remember all that stuff that you decided on the couple slides previously that you like to do? All of it counts. It tells you and it tells us about your interests. You'll get to note all of these things on your application. And remember to give details. Instead of saying, I do robotics, you might say something like, I led the, the build part of our robotics team, of our first robotics team or our VEX robotics team. I received a telescope and decided to start an astronomy club or I go stargazing every weekend or I'm president of the math club and I led our team to start competing. Anything that you do, but give details. You'll notice this is a theme. Details are important. 
On the application, you'll also be able to note how many years you've been involved in these activities. Don't worry if it's fairly newfound. Even if you just recently learned that you really like STEM, we want to hear about it. For your essays, you'll be able to know what you've done and what you would like to do. For example, Caltech has a supplemental essay question that asks this. Much like the life of a professional scientist or engineer, the life of a techer relies heavily on collaboration. Knowing this, what do you hope to explore, innovate, or create with your Caltech peers? Other colleges will have similar questions. Geek out, have fun being yourself and talking about the things that you love. We get you, we understand the things that you love and we love the same things. Now for the big question. What are admissions committees looking for? And it's actually pretty simple. We wanna meet you, that's it. We wanna see who you are, whether you are academically prepared for the rigors of the curriculum that we offer, and that's gonna change, that's gonna vary by school. And we wanna see if you'd be happy here based on what we know about our community and what we learn about you in your application. Admissions nowadays is about storytelling and your application tells your story to the admissions committees. The committees are comprised of admissions professionals. We've been doing this a while, we know what we're doing. And sometimes there are faculty members on there as well, people who are going to be teaching you. Now, the beauty of all this is you get to assemble the pieces and connect them into a narrative to tell the admissions committees all about yourself and your relationship with STEM. What parts of the application do you control? Well, things that you do outside of class. Now remember, you don't have to do everything, just like on this slide, no, don't do that. Schools are looking for students, period. Some students will do everything they possibly can as they explore life. Others will focus on one thing and do it all the time. Most students will have a few things that interest them. All of these are absolutely valid. You also control your essays. And the title of this talk has authenticity in it. We want you to be authentic, but what does that mean? It means be yourself. There's no need to try to second guess what the admissions committee wants to see. Schools will want you for who you are. When in doubt, after you've written an essay or part of your application, ask a parent or a guardian or a friend, how can you tell that I'm interested in STEM? Does this look like me? And they hopefully will say, yeah, you got it. Or mm, you forgot about this. Your parents or guardians are keeping track. Believe me, they know you very well. There's no need to pay someone to write the perfect application for you. Only you can write the perfect application for you. Imagine you're meeting a whole bunch of new people online and your group decides to meet in real life at a coffee shop. Would you rather meet the person that you expect to meet based on how they presented themselves? Or would you prefer to meet the catfisher, the 39 year old gamer living in their parents' basement? We wanna see you. We wanna see the person that you've presented yourself to be. We wanna meet you, the real you. The you that doesn't have all the answers, but is willing to learn. The you that likes hanging out after school, or going to football games, or cosplay, or band, or math competitions, whoever you are, that's who we want to meet in your application. We want you to be honest and to be authentic. We want you in your essays to tell us about things that you have experienced, things that are unique to you. That's how you stay, that's the difference between authenticity and honesty. Authenticity is honest but it's also specific to you. And keep in mind, there are no set answers to these college essays. The best one to write is the one that tells us about yourself. Now, I don't mean like, oh, I'm a Virgo, I like movies and chocolate. I mean, tell about experiences that you've had. The coalition application and the common application general essays give you a chance to talk about something or someone that has influenced you, a book that you've read, an experience, anything. Remember, you control what you write about. Most important in these essays is what did you learn about yourself? If you're writing about 
your incredible grandparent who immigrated from the old country, picking potatoes all the way, riding a bike across the ocean, whatever. Tell us how that affects you. Tell us exactly why it is that you've chosen that person to write about and how they've affected you. For the college specific essays, think about your audience, their STEM aficionados as well. Answer the questions from your point of view and use your experience as examples. Remember that details count. And remember, you've got this. You're ready for college. You can prepare a strong list with schools with varying acceptance rates and figure out where you fit their profile. And remember, you will be going to college. Prepare to be happy at several different types of college and you'll be learning wherever you land. I'll leave you with this final thought. STEM is fun. Feel free to email me any questions you may have. My email address is on the bottom of the slide. Thanks.